the way I am going to be serious in second semester, when they release an assignment, I am submitting the same day, right? When they send an email says the classes have been cancelled, I am going to attend by force, right? When they say the library has been closed while I'm in the library, campus control won't do nothing, even security won't do nothing. They need to call the National Defense Force to remove me. Hey, me to none. Good evening guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sagwadi Wakarabusa and I'm back again with yet another video. Oh, you thought I wouldn't make it for Monday. <laughs> Didn't they say student work all the time? Anyway, I'm here now. Uh, we're going to do assignment two of CPD 1501. That is a diploma module, diploma in law module. It's, it's called Citizenship, Public Participation and Democracy. Hey! Anyway, this assignment is due on the second Monday. Okay. The first question says, how can citizens hold public officials accountable in a democratic society? Provide example of ac ac accountability mechanisms in South Africa. That is question one. So this video, we're going to deal with question one only. So this is part one of cpd 1501 i will post the part two before the due date all right okay right if you go on to your study guide uh sorry uh, okay first let's do this Right, this is like an essay type um, um, question where you have to answer in terms of, in an essay way. You need to apply. So this is what Ulysses is doing nowadays, right? They they send or they give assignments, and in those assignments you need to apply the knowledge, okay? Because it tells you where to study up, up until where, and then you need to apply. You need to prove that you have achieved the objectives of those units. You need to prove that you have learned something. So they know that you already know where to find the answer, okay? They know that you love to plagiarize, okay? They know that you can copy and paste. What they want to see is you using the work, showing them that you understand. What I figured from this is that it's an essay type question. Uh, it's 25 marks. I'm not saying write 10 pages of an essay, no. But you can be very, very brief, right? So this is what I suggest. Um, first, you can define why or what you think of what you think a drama, drama your drama, <laughs> a democratic society is, right? Then you come, you come down. This is after I've defined the democratic society. This is trying to make my work. To, to, to have logic, I can't just wake up and say, or I can't just uh, start writing chapter 9 institutions. Mm -mm. They want you to apply. I have applied, I, I, I have defined that, you know, sort of trying to show them I know what I'm doing. <laughs> they want you to apply. That's why the, the instructions say they give a mark for application or they give marks for application of the knowledge, okay? Now, a democratic, a democratic society, according to me, is a society wherein citizens have a right to speak on issues that do not sit well with them and have them attended to. Okay, you copy, it's plagiarism. Write it in your own words. In South Africa, we have Chapter 9 institutions, right, that support constitutional democracy by providing a platform and channels for citizens to hold public officials accountable. The institutions that ensure public participation in various ways, these institutions ensure public pa participation in various ways, and they are listed in the Constitution of South Africa. South Africa. These functionaries are... All right, so here we speak of holding... Um, government officials, uh, that again, 
accountable for their actions okay for their wrongdoings let's put it that way okay we hold them accountable to say okay you promised us we are supposed to we don't have water ganjan right you're not gonna write in here that we will do it away. please don't <laughs> we'll do it mara don't write that we're gonna do it away. <coughs> right um i want to give i think this one everyone everyone has thought of it Yes, I know that answers are there in the study guide, okay? They're really there, right? But um, remember, your study material says that make use of the constitutional, of the constitution of South Africa, right? So it means you must think out of the box, not far away from the module, but out of the box using the constitution. What happened recent, recently? We had elections and then... Sevens are guys dropped from majority, right? That was us holding government accountable. Hmm? Sevens are ganzima. Sevens are ganzima. It did not work out. Now they are with the, uh, those blue ones and hey, it's giving them. <laughs> I didn't say that. Anyway, so the first, 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 first point that I think everyone. If you do not think of this, ne? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's still a long way to LLP. <laughs> Very long. <laughs> okay. Elections. Elections are a way in which us as pu the public, us as citizens, we can hold po po politicians uh, accountable, accountable. So we are the citizens who are participating in holding public officials accountable. And this year, you guys in May, you will hold them accountable. They do not believe the spook they saw, right? So the first one will be um, participating in elections, right? Then you will write there your information. They write something. You can't just say elections. You will write there. Would say, this is how we hold them accountable. We voted them out. Well, almost out. But we, we, we changed the seats, okay? Right, that's the first one, and then we have the most famous one that every law student will know: public protector. Guys, do you want me to explain? Isn't it easy? You must write now the public protector. How, how, and in which instances, or in which cases, a, a practice a public protector helps us as citizens to participate and then uh, you must write that and most importantly you must write that their findings are supposed are to be public because they are for you know and then we have uh, re remember ne? public protector ne? you must write specifically for where how do they help this institution or this or the office of the public public protector um, contributes to helping us out way as students not as students as citizens okay then we've got the famous one well which one do you think we have this is the next one the one that we know we have but we don't see that we have auditor general hmm? there by the finances of the maspala thereby the finances of each and every hey thereby searching what's happening you see the recent lawyer <laughs> the recent lawyer who got arrested for eastern cape things doing fraud from 2012 2017 2012 to 2017 i believe for it to get here the gen the 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 auditor general was doing audits and said ay man mm -mm. And then they took it somewhere else okay then you define that the, 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 the what is an audit or, or <sniffs> auditor general okay what do they do where do we find their reports are their report public blah 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 and we've got the most famous one also a whistleblower whistleblowers also help in um holding public officials or, <coughs> or civil servants 
uh, accountable okay and whistleblowing also the employee in a department if you see something is not going on i think something is not going right i believe that it was invented for people who are working there you report anonymously to say i mm -mm. I wish they could whistle blow at hospitals, guys. You go to a hospital, public hospital, there's no water. Jani, because the hospital has got backup water and stuff like that. What happened to the money for the backup water, the tanks and filling up and cleaning and everything? I don't want to talk about food because they will say, hey, hey, we are crying for everything. <laughs> anyway. And then we've got the one, my favorite. Hmm? The one. Remember that lady who came from America, they brought her here? Yes. You, you know who brought her here? Special Investigating Unit and the Special Tribunals Act 74 of 1976. Okay? Special Investigating Unit and the Special Tribunals Act 74 of 1997, 1996. You go there, you look for this. I'll write it down here because I keep saying it wrong. You write it, you go there, it will explain how it holds people accountable. Oh, <coughs> the one that can arrest the man was a very dangerous that one. <laughs> um, Okay, this thing didn't upload. Why is it saying I'm working offline? Well, I don't know. Okay, it didn't update because I write with the I write with the Microsoft. So I write with the small phone and then I open with this one and then it didn't update. But I wrote more than four. I also wrote the one where <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I also wrote the wrote the one where we speak of freedom of speech freedom of speech and freedom to access and the right to access to information so those two also help people to have a say and to be able to hold the government um accountable government officials accountable this can happen in uh, this freedom of speech or access to information right helps us to hold the government accountable in this way people can go uh, join trade unions where they give their grievances and even church even a church you know they can write something and they, they take it as far as possible and hold people accountable i think that one is there also in the textbook there's also another one that i wrote called political parties guys <clears throat> Do I need to say anything about political parties? Because each and every political party that we have, when it comes to canvas, they listen to our grievances. Now they are m members of parliament, right? Because we put them there. So the political parties, ne? They, they shed light as to how far our rights go. And then we are able to speak to them, to tell them more. We don't have water, we don't have water, we don't have water, we don't. We are able to speak our grievances. When they get to parliament, to the parliament for um, debates or anything, they put forward our grievances. Okay, well, if they, that's how they should do it. Right, let's go back to the right to freedom, to access to information and the right to freedom of speech. Right, the right to freedom of speech enables us to have a public debate debate on matters okay and then we have social media i'm joking guys we have got media pub publications you know city prayers blah 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 hey bondaba there where they tell us for no man this guy who's working uh as an mc He's flying, he flies everywhere with a jet. And then um, the media will be there showcasing, showing us uh, the lifestyle and showing us the progress of that person's department and all those things. They serve as a watchdog, you know, looking at them. And you know, the more the media exposes the lifestyle, then the citizens are able to hold that person accountable because 
they can write a petition to say, ah, uh ah, -uh, no, man, it doesn't make sense. It's either this one is working at work because uh, the salary and the lifestyle is not made sure. Then that forces the public protector or whoever is given that jurisdiction. It depends on what is going on, you know, and um, when it, lifestyle audit, the auditor general would do it to check what, mm -mm, why are you earning two rand but you are living for 500 mm -mm, mm -mm. and that's where we as the public we are holding officials accountable the public uh the auditor general will come and tell us what no man you remember that one that was working at west is in under the jail <laughs> anyway guys i really hope that the information that i gave here actually actually shed light it gave you direction into where you must get the answers and what to do i'll be back with a part two before the end of the week okay i love you so much Mwah. good night